Hey you guys, my name is James Diaz. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Made to Love by Toby Mac. You're going to need a capo on the third fret. And so if you're just starting to learn how to play the guitar, you should check out my Worship Acoustic Guitar course. It's for beginners. It'll teach you all the basics. It'll teach you chords, it'll teach you strumming, it'll teach you everything that you need to know to have a solid foundation to play the guitar. Especially if strumming is a difficult thing for you, you know, you're constantly trying to learn strumming patterns and you're trying to translate everything in your brain as much as you can. Um, my guitar course is specifically designed to make strumming patterns a part of you instead of a translation in your head. Um, like if you've ever learned a second language, you know, um, you have to translate everything into from you know English to Spanish as an example you know and then when someone speaks back to you you have to translate that from Spanish to English and you're constantly thinking about it until if you stick with it eventually that second language becomes like your first language it becomes a part of you that's the point that you want to get to for playing the guitar, that the guitar is a part of you. So if strumming and chords, it's a difficult thing for you, you should check out my Worship Acoustic Guitar course. I'll go over it more at the end. Let's get started with these chords. So the chords for the intro, it's gonna be a B minor, to a G, to a D, to an F sharp. And those are the chords for the verse as well. B minor, G, D, F sharp. Good news, those are the chords for the chorus as well. B minor, G, D, F sharp. And it does change four for the bridge. It does change for that. So for the na 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 na, na 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 na, anything I would give up for you. So it's gonna be a D to an A, a B minor to a G, and that's it. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna play each part of the song just so you can see where the chords are placed in the song, and then I'll go over a strumming pattern you could use at the end. All right, so the intro. Then you go into the first verse and say, uh, That I was made to love you, I was made to find you, I was made to fall you, and to adore you, I was made to love you, and you were loved by me. You were here to find me, you were waiting on me, you were said to keep me, never would you leave me, I was made to love you, and you were loved by you, loved by you. Then you go to the second verse, it's the same as the first verse, same chords and everything. Now we're gonna skip down to the bridge part of the song. repeat that there. Um, so that's where all the chords are placed in the song. Now we'll go over a strumming pattern you could use. So a really basic strumming pattern you could use for this song is going to be down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped you. Again, if you're just learning how to play the guitar, you're just starting out, there's the two things that you want to focus on is chords and strumming. That is really probably like 90% of the guitar. It's really the foundation. If you don't have that, then finger picking, lead lines, all that stuff is gonna be a lot more difficult. If you have the foundation, all the rest comes a lot easier. Um, so check out my Worship Acoustic Guitar course. You can learn how to play the guitar with all the songs you already know from church. It is a one-time payment. There are no monthly fees. The idea is once you go through my course, you can play all the chords you need to play and you can strum any song that you want to because you can create your own strumming patterns. Strumming patterns is a great way to start, but it's like riding a bike with, with training wheels, essentially. You know, my guitar course is more the method of I'm going to, you know, push the bike with you 
until you know before you know it you're playing the guitar on your own and then you know you fall down and you get back up and then we do it again and then you know over and over and over again until eventually you're riding the bike on your own you know because training wheels you can ride the bike as long as you want with those training wheels once you take them off you'll realize you never actually knew how to ride the bike to begin with you still don't know how to balance you know because the training wheels were doing all the work for you you know you still have to learn the fundamentals of actually riding a bike it's the same thing with strumming patterns you can learn as many strumming patterns as you want a strumming pattern is going to teach you how to play that one song but if you decided to let's say i told you go learn how to play oceans let's say you've never played it before Go learn how to play Oceans by Hillsong, um, and the only thing you get to look up is the chords. You don't get to look up a guitar tutorial, you don't get to look up strumming patterns, just the chords. Now, if you've been playing the guitar with training wheels, if you've been playing the guitar with strumming patterns, you're not going to be able to play a song without looking up a strumming pattern, and that's the problem. My guitar course gets you to the point to where you can. You can play any song that you ever want to play without looking up a strumming pattern because the guitar is a part of you, not just some translation in your head. You can create whatever strumming pattern you want to create because I could do that. I could look up any song I want to play as long as I've heard the song before and I know the chords and I can play the song. And that's the point that you want to get to. That's the base level of a guitar player. You can play any song, chords and strumming. You know, finger picking, lead lines, it's a little more advanced. My guitar course goes into finger picking. It also goes into capos what these are for, how to transpose songs, and what all that stuff means. You know, but that stuff comes a lot easier once you have the chords and the strumming and you have that down. If you're just starting to learn how to play the guitar, check out my Worship Acoustic Guitar course, one-time payment, no monthly fees, become a master at playing the guitar basics, and learn how to play with all the songs that you already know from church. Hopefully, I'll see you guys there.